So let's move to the next question. So this question is related to the chemical injuries where a laborer is coming who is uh, working at a construction site with the red eyes and history of chuna particles falling one hour back. So chuna particle injury is uh, actually a chemical injury or a chemical burns. Whenever we have uh, chemical burns in the eye, basically these are um, also the emergency conditions which can present with the acute red eye. Can you tell me the DD of acute red eye as well as the type of vision loss that can present in the patient? So whenever you have this acute red eye, we have a DD, right? The most common DD, though we are discussing it in the chemical burns, but yet chemical burns is not the most common DD of this acute red eye. Either it is acute congestive glaucoma or acute anterior uveitis okay now the type of vision loss that you are getting here will be the sudden as well as painful this will be sudden as well as painful diminution of vision so this patient of chemical injury can also present why indirectly i am saying because due to the chemical burn also it will lead to acute anterior uveitis we will have a lot of inflammation due to inflammation we have acute anterior uveitis and therefore indirectly again it is the acute anterior uveitis which is presenting with the acute red eye okay so it can be now uh, the acid injuries also or it can be alkalis uh, hi krishna i could not get what are you uh, trying to say alkalis injury and it is uh, the alkali injury which is actually more severe because you know we always have more risk of perforation here we have the risk of the perforation and um, that is why it is the alkali injury which are more severe in comparison to the acid injury though the treatment pattern will remain same whether it's a acid injury or whether it's alkali injury so if you go with the treatment because it is an emergency condition we have to first bring back the ph okay so for this we have to do the irrigation it's very very important that you have to do the irrigation of uh, the conjunctival sac thoroughly for about you know 40 minutes to 60 minutes or one hour now um, this irrigation of the conjunctival sac uh, can be done by the basal salt solution which is considered to be the best otherwise if this is not available then also you can do with the normal saline or by the ringal lactate uh, now of the records if i am telling you that uh, when it's an emergency and you have to uh, irrigate the conjunctival sac even if you do not have the basal salt solution you do not have the normal saline you do not have the ringer lactate no problem you can wash with the distal water ro water tap water anything so that we are able to remove the uh, acid particles alkali particles tuna particles we have to flush the particles we have to bring the ph back Okay, even if you are in emergency because you know inside people aims people are very fond of asking the practical things so if the patient has come to you and you are alone then also you can take two bottles at one time in both of your hands and prick it i clear my amelie exam three stage i got lessons your lecture helpful ma'am Oh, thank you so much. Heartiest congratulations. You could clear MLE examination by these notes. I am humbled and I am very, very proud of you. Very happy for you. So, uh, you can use two bottles there. You can prick with a white bore and you can start uh, irrigating even alone in the casualty till the time. So, 15 minutes is uh, not, uh, you know, sufficient. Basically, 30 minutes, 40 minutes or even 60 minutes like we have to do. Once you have done, now what will be the step number two? Step number two, may we have to do the double eversion. Double eversion of the eyelid we have to do the upper eyelid so two times we have to evert it now you would say that we are not ophthalmologists we cannot evert it so you can take the support you can take out the refill from the pan you can put it here you can take the uh, stirrers uh, the tea stirrers you can take the uh, casual pencil or the mascara pencils also you can put here and taking the support you can evert it back and uh, once you have everted you have to remove the to remove the 
deeply embedded particles so that is um, very very important because these particles are deeply embedded and uh, they are going into the phonics area so it has to be removed at the earliest once you have done this you have done the irrigation the particles have gone into the eye so obviously some amount of uh, necrosis they have done hai na? so what you have to do is the removal of the dead tissue that is the debridement next may we have to do the removal of the dead tissue <laughs> it is the removal removal of the dead tissue we have to do now once we have done the uh, removal of the dead tissue then we have to use the topical drugs Topical drugs may now why we are using the drugs after the debridement because obviously when you are putting the drugs it will not be able to act over the dead tissue. So first you have to do the debridement and only then we have to give the drugs. Now which drugs we have to give? What are the drugs that I can give? I have to give the steroids. Now you will say that there are chances of perforation then why we want to give the steroids for the congestion? There is lot of congestion guys so i will have to give the steroids i will have to give the tetracycline we can um, give the tetracycline or the tetracycline group of drugs which is uh, preventing the perforation to prevent the perforation we have to give this drug you can give toxicycline you give can give tetracycline and uh, then we also give the citrate citrates will be acting as the antidotes no all these drugs have to be given so uh, obviously we have to give the antibiotics because there is a risk of infection but here uh, the tetracyclines or the doxycyclines that we are giving they are not just given to prevent the risk of perforation uh, this uh, for the infection but also to prevent the risk of perforation if you uh, see in the corneal ulcers also whenever we have bacterial ulcers we have impending perforations then we give the tetracycline group of drugs so tetracyclines or doxycyclines anything can be given steroids obviously under the antibiotic cover for a limited time in order to combat the congestion you have to give the steroids so while i am writing steroids i am telling you disclaimer continuously that it has to be under the guided vigilance and of course the citrates which is anti-neutrophilic, anti-proteolytic, anti-collagenolytic. So a definite, definite antidote. <laughs> Hina, uh, yeah, thank you so much guys. Tomorrow is curvature and uh, that's why, you know, Hina is there. So this is a um, uh, whole of the topic on the chemical injuries acid injuries hai or uh, the alkali injuries hai so you can do this question now i hope can you see how will you manage this condition we can easily give the irrigation with the normal saline and we can give now if you see topical antibiotics have to be given cycloplegics for pain relief can be given patching the eye we will never do in the cases of chemical injury uh, that's so ref we be nahi karenge whenever we have the risk of infection we will never close the eye we will never cover the eye we will never patch the eye but yes here first and second is okay irrigation with normal saline hai, but obviously uh priority now i will once uh, we have discussed this i will tell you one more thing see pyqs are important but it's very important to tell you the practical problems that you face doing the question so here first and second both seems to be right so what happens when we have more tricky questions it is actually the more close options questions are same more or less but the answers the options are getting more and more close and that is the reason they are becoming more tricky so even if you get a such type of a question and you have options like this please see which one is more preferable option the better option okay so better option in terms of order if you see the immediate thing that you have to do is the irrigation of the normal saline and that is why answer is a okay in the paper also you might get the question where more than one option seems to be correct Please see the order. What should be done first has to be given as the answer.